Hey everyone, this is Rachel with a quick screencast of how to edit your workshop page on the Google Summit site. We're nearing the summit and we're very excited to have you presenting with us. We want to make it as easy as possible for you to share your information with your session attendees. So you'll start out at the Google site, googlesummit.org. And you'll notice I'm not signed in right now. I don't have my editing toolbar across the top here, so I need to slide down to the bottom of the window where there is a sign-in link. And I can do just that. And I should come up with my editing tools at the top. Okay, great. So next, I need to find my page. I head over to the sitemap in the navigation bar and down at the bottom of the list of pages you'll notice that workshops has pages underneath it we can expand it by clicking on the plus sign and I find my page which is done by name okay here we are everyone starts out or has started out with the same template just like any other Google site and for those people who have not edited edited a Google site page before I click on the pencil for edit page I can change what I need to change name photos I can remove the stock presentation that is there and I can insert my presentation for this year's summit or a slideshow or a document whatever it is that you're going to insert or share okay and then the thing that we really want to bring your attention to this year is um, similar to last year we have some icons and some badges for social media this year we have them running along the bottom of the page and we um, obviously have a bunch on there so we don't expect everyone to share out every single social network that you're on if you want to that's great if not no worries you can share one you can share five you can share zero so here's how to edit that bar should you need to each of these icons is just an image that has a link attached to it for right now the link is set to the default address so that way we wouldn't be sending people to um, someone else's social media page. So let's say I don't really want to share out my blogger profile so I'm going to remove that one and I use Evernote more personally than socially so I'll remove that one and I don't really want to share my last FM or my music profiles so I'll move, remove that one. So I'm left with the set of sites that I want to share. To get people to actually my account, I go ahead and click on the image and you'll notice there's the go to link. That's the first line of the little box that pops up and I can click change on that and I get my box where I can copy my address for my specific social media page regardless of what type of service it is and say OK and you'll notice that my new address is there. I can do the same for all the others and then at the end if you're OCD or really picky or if you maybe have control issues like me and you want things to line up and look pretty you should just be able to click on the icons at the end or the right side of your page and fill in any holes that you have. So and you just kinda have to watch where your cursor is. You, know, you may have to play with it just a little bit to get it in the right spot. And then you click Save. Your page has been edited and you should just be able to click to get to your social media sites. We really appreciate you being a part of the 2011 Summit and we're looking forward to seeing everyone on October 14th. Thanks!